Hey, you went flying bitch and spur. Hey, you went dry around the world. Hey, you went brown like a squirrel. Hey, you went Chanel pearls. Hey, you went Rolls Royce car. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine Simone. I know it's been quite a minute since I have made my last video, so this is going to be a new vlog and my first video of 2024. So in this vlog, I have went to Atlanta for my, well, we pretty much went in celebration of my cousin's 25th birthday, even though it was also my birthday and my mom's birthday as well. But the main event was celebrating my cousin's 25th birthday. And he wanted to go to the Atlanta Falcons and Minnesota Vikings football games. So that's what we did because he loved Vikings. So we all supported him and pretty much just went to that game. But in addition to that, of course, we did a bunch of other stuff. So yeah, so there's not really a lot of talking in the video. It's mostly visual, but I am going to do a full recap at the end of the video on certain things that maybe you guys didn't get to see or maybe I can go into like more explanation and certain stories. So be sure to stay tuned and watch throughout this whole video to see not only the video but my recap of the whole trip in general and we really had an amazing time and I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my first time back. And if you're new here be sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button because I do have another travel vlog coming up of when I went to Vegas and at that time I did get to see us trans residency which was a blast. So if you want to see that be sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button down here and without further ado let's get right on into the video I'm 
outside, I try to tell him lay low. Cause he don't like to drive, but he stay good. I'm on the way to Clayco. AK 47's in the spots before they make a Draco. I'm just trying to buy him in. On the mill, I'm calling bills. I'm the boss, pay all the bills. I'm the golden child for real. Go off in this bitch, I will. I've been on my grind for years. And I'm out here trying to steal. I need everything to sign a deal. I'm just trying to buy him in. On the mill, I'm calling bills. I'm the boss, pay all the bills. I'm the golden child for real. Go off in this bitch, I will. I've been on my grind for years. And I'm out here trying to steal. I need everything to sign a deal. Over buying cars, I snatch the barbers just for motivation. Shoot out every spot today, tomorrow we get a new location. I know the guys, I hope y'all beat the case and get probation. Stashed at my mama house, 400 bands in the ventilation. Now look how I'm living, I bought a house for the money. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the little clip that I did get from my trip in ATL. So I'm pretty much just going to do like a recap of some of the things that happened and maybe something you guys didn't get to see or just, like I said in the beginning, just explain some more stuff. So pretty much day one, well we actually landed on Thursday on like November 2nd, but I didn't film anything that day because we were pretty much tired from traveling and I did not know the airport was that big. That was definitely the biggest airport I've ever been to. I thought New York was going to be the biggest one but no ATL got it for real well me and my mom had a ride there first we had flew Delta and took a one-way there because we had some leftover credit and we thought it was just gonna be easier rather than having to like stop and then have to like wait during a layover we ended up having to wait so we ate at Applebee's and waited for my aunt and her husband to come they came maybe like an hour or two later so after that we got our luggage we went to our Airbnb, which was actually really, really nice. And there was a lot of traffic, of course, but I don't think nothing will be as bad as LA though. Yeah, and then we were talking about going to a bar that night, but we were just also tired by the time we got to the Airbnb. So we just went and picked up some Popeyes and y'all, that had to be the worst service Popeyes I've ever been to in my life. Well, we tried to go in and then when we went in, they said, oh, we're not taking orders inside. You have to go through the drive-thru. So we went through the drive-thru. It took forever. It probably took us an hour to get the food and the service was horrendous. We went shortly, shortly after Keith Lee and them like um, went in Atlanta. So I completely understand what he was talking about as far as the service and actually not just him, but other people as well. Then we went back to the Airbnb. We had also went and got some drinks from this place called, I think it was called like Camp. It was like Creek, Camp Creek or something like that. It was a liquor store. They had a lot of drinks up in there. So I would definitely recommend going there. And it wasn't too far from the airport either. So we were able to get a couple bottles of stuff that we wanted. And then we went back to Airbnb. So that was like our first day traveling there, settling in. I didn't video any of that. And then on day two, that was the day that my cousin and his girlfriend was arriving. And then also we surprised him with his best friend. My cousin initially invited him there, but he said he wasn't going to be able to come because of his midterm. Um, but he ended up showing up. So that was a really nice surprise. On day two, we went to the Breakfast Boys, which was... The food was cool. The ambiance was all right. Like, it was hecka stuffy up in there. I felt like I couldn't breathe. I think they just needed more like air ventilation then it would have been all right. But they had some really good jerk chicken. That was actually my first time trying jerk chicken and it was delicious. So they get to get a plush for that. But I don't think that was the best food spot that we had while we were there. So then after that, we went to Centennial Park. I had actually been there. This was actually not my first time in Atlanta. I've been there before when I was like, six years old because my dad used to live there. I feel like this is my real first experience as an adult. Like now I can do everything and I can really like remember everything and really like take it in. But I mean, as a kid, I think all I did was really just hang out with my dad. We didn't really go anywhere besides um, Centennial Park downtown. And I would just go to like family members house all the time. That's what I remember. So we went down there and then we pretty much just walked around. We went to the yard. That was the best milkshake I've had in my entire life. Then after that, we saw that there was a lot of stuff in the area. They had the Mercedes Benz Stadium where the Falcons play. They had the State Farm Arena. Actually, we went over to Summit College and Clark Atlanta University. We also saw Morehouse, but we didn't get to actually go on to Morehouse and walk around, but we did get out and walk on to Spelman. Well, actually, we couldn't walk on to Clark either because they had gates up, but we were able to like take pictures outside of the university. 
And I really wish I had more exposure to like HBCUs because I feel like high school, I remember we had like a college fair and there might have been like one or two HBCUs, but I feel like I didn't have a lot of knowledge about it. I would have loved to go on one. Now that I do have the knowledge, hopefully when I have kids, I can give that knowledge to them. Hopefully expand their options. But I want to say after that, we kind of just drove around downtown a little bit more too. We saw Georgia Tech. Then we went back to the airport to pick up my cousin and his girlfriend. And at first they had locked their luggage, but then it had ended up coming up like a little bit later. So it just took a long time. They actually had two layovers. So I know they were definitely tired, but they still turned up at the end of the night. So then we went back to the Airbnb so that they could chill and like unwind and unpack their stuff. And then we had started to get ready. We went to the first Friday by the arts at the underground. And I would give the experience like a, I give it like a six out of 10. I thought it was gonna be a little more hype. They said they had food and they had like different little vendors outside, but it was more like snacks and stuff and alcohol. So I was a little hungry, but they didn't really have what I was looking for or what I expected I guess they really did have some nice artwork don't get me wrong um it was really nice I think maybe we should have stayed there a little longer or we should have waited to go because I feel like we came in there a little too early so it wasn't really turned up for real yet and we were like okay let's just go to like a little club not a club but like a little lounge or hangout spot we had past a karaoke bar so we were like let's just go over there and do that and I remember seeing a TikTok about a place called Daiquiriville and I was literally right around the corner from where we were at so we went there the vibe in there it was pretty nice like they had a nice light there was a great dj that was up in there um they had all these like daiquiris and different flavors i didn't get to try one because i was too busy taking a bunch of shots with my cousin and his friends oh yeah also one of his friends had came to visit he had joined us as well he lives up in tennessee but he drove all the way down to atlanta i guess he has a grandma that lives in atlanta so the first thing we did in there we had got three shots it was my cousin his two friends and i we had took like three shots of this drink they called liquid marijuana and it was pretty good so they it was green and had like this smoky stuff i'll put a video on the side um so we had three shots of those like just back to back and we got drunk pretty quick yeah from then on it was it went downhill from there so one member of our party got extremely extremely drunk i had took a video of them but i'm not gonna put it there because i don't want to like embarrass them or whatever i don't know i had a couple other shots of something else and i wanted some food so i had ordered my mom some food so she said the food was nasty so i guess the food is just no good but the drinks are there vibes there music there so then we went to sleep and then the next day it was saturday it was my birthday so the very first thing we did we went to toast on lineage which was really really good we had a reservation but they were able to take us in early actually everything about toast on lineage was really good then after that we went to the trap museum the trap museum it was cool i thought it was going to be a little bigger than what it was but inside it was really nice and it looked like they had a bar they also had a dj up in there too i would have loved to come there at night because it probably would have been a lot more fun um we were in the trap museum pretty quickly we were in there for maybe about 15 minutes because like i said it was small i mean you walk around and stuff but you can look at everything pretty quickly okay now here's another run in with some bad service so then after that we went to this place called madhouse it was like a restaurant bar whatever and my cousin he wanted to go there because he saw they had these like margarita drinks at the trash can on tiktok first off they didn't open until like 4 p.m so we were just waiting there in the parking lot until it opened. We get there, we're literally like the first people up in there. They gave my cousins drinks and then me and my mom, we were like, okay, we might as well get some food while we're here and then just take it back or whatever. So we got some food and this girl's energy was not the best. She had took our order and we were like, okay, yeah, we were like it to go. So it took us like an hour and like an hour and a half to get some food. And this girl, she didn't really check up on us that much. She was walking around there and she was smoking on other people's hookah. I don't know if people that she knew, but she was just bouncing, just bouncing around smoking on other people's hookah. Yeah, it was so bad. So my mom, she was like, I'm ready to get up out of here. She didn't want to deal with that girl no more. And the food was mid, like, why did it take an hour and a half to make some mid tacos and some mid pasta? Like, it was Sunday, so that was our last real day there. So, pretty much that whole day was just dedicated to the game. So, we just pretty much just went straight to the stadium and 
we kind of just hung around, watched the people do like the tailgate and all that. But yeah, it was turned up. Like I loved every minute of being at like the game, the stadium, all that. And then one thing I like there too, when they give you a shot, they give you an actual shot. Like it's not watered down or nothing. And yeah, one of them shots that the game took me out. And I'm not talking about took me out in a bad way. Like, took me out like I would then near falling asleep during the game. Yeah, we was at the game. It felt like the game kind of went by quickly. So after the game, we were walking back to the car. And we noticed that there were some people kind of, you know, they were lit down in this area that was close to the stadium. So we were like, hmm, going on over there? And it was at the Hard Rock Cafe. I, yeah, it was the hotel called The Reverb by Hard Rock Cafe. So we went down there. They had this, like, a bar area, like, right when you walk in. And they had, like, a DJ down there. So we were like, okay, we might have to hang out here for a minute. And then they were telling us, they were like, oh, no, y'all need to go to the rooftop bar. So we went up there. And it was packed. It was like heck of people, but it was really a vibe too. I didn't get any drink that night because I feel like I had already been drinking a lot for the past two days. Well, my whole family, we had like Minnesota Vikings stuff on. So a lot of people were like coming up to us like, oh, y'all from Minnesota? Like, like they were questioning us. We were like, uh, no, we just supported my cousin who loves the team. So that's why we're just all wearing it because of him, because it's his birthday and yada, yada, yada. So yeah, so we met like a lot of cool people there too. Everybody, like I said, everybody was on some cool stuff when we were there like we didn't really have no real issue i feel like the main issue i had with that person well i don't want to say i really had an issue but with the person at the madhouse bar and then i would say people at the airport which i'll get into in a few minutes pretty much after that we just went to the airbnb we shield i had ate this cake that i got from this place started packing our stuff back up and then the next day we just headed to the airport like early in the morning i don't know what's up with the people at the airport there but they be rude as hell so once we had you know found our terminal and all that i had went and sat down and i was trying to see if i can find like some kind of coffee or something warm to drink because it was early in the morning and it was kind of chilly so there was like this other little coffee plate that was next to us and at first it wasn't open yet so then it finally opened up and then i was like okay i'm gonna get something do you want some and my mom was like yeah get me a cup of hot water and a sandwich so it was my turn to order and i could tell she wasn't very friendly at all this piece of lint keep on flying i get up to order i was like hey can i get a, a cup of hot water and this bacon egg and cheese and then she just walked off and i was like Okay, so I wouldn't even finish ordering my food yet. Then she came back and she was like, Oh, you said bacon, egg, and what? And I was like, uh, bacon, egg, and cheese, and a hot water, please. It was around the season where like pumpkin spice lattes and stuff were still in. So I had asked for one of those as well. And she was like, We ain't got no pumpkin. And I was like, Okay, I'll just take a hot water and some bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich or whatever. Then she um, gave me the price and then she just walked off. She didn't give me no damn receipt. So I didn't even want to deal with her after that. And I had never been bothered by someone's energy that much. Usually, I do not be bothered by people at all. We get the food, we came home, and we took our flight. We had got a straight flight back to Sacramento as well. And that was pretty much the end of the trip. That was pretty much the end of the trip. We had an amazing time. I definitely do want to go back. And I would definitely like to explore some different parts to Atlanta that we didn't get to go to. So yeah, so like I said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video of my vlog to Atlanta and next week I will be dropping one from when I went to Vegas and me and my mom had decided last minute to go to Vegas like right after Thanksgiving so we just took the trip on a whim and we went to go see Usher which was really really fun so I can't wait for you guys to see that. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get back to making videos also. I know I have been gone for a while probably like almost a year because i didn't have my camera for a minute and i was just going through a lot of stuff last year too so i think i'm gonna do like a 2023 recap just to catch you guys up on what's been going on i definitely have a couple hauls coming for you guys as well i ordered some stuff from the tiktok shop so we're gonna see what that's like if it's worth the hype but yeah so that's pretty much it like i said i hope you guys enjoyed this video again if you liked this video and you want to see another vlog coming up next week be sure to like hit that subscribe button and be sure to like this video as well and without further ado, I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. I can't mess with rapper, baby boy. Rather get the pack and keep the open. Big dripper stand up in the ocean. Everybody trapped till we get open. He ain't focused yet, but he ain't got motion. Made a half a ticket out promotion.